Let's look at determining the equation of a polynomial given its graph. Here's a basic example. We were from National 5. It is a quadratic, this is a par parabola. And you'll notice I've noted the roots a and b. Well, if we know the roots of a parabola, we immediately know that it must be x minus a times x minus b. But it could be times by some sort of constant, k, because this number does not affect the final solutions. So, in general, this is exactly the route we're going to go down if we're given a graph. As long as we know the roots, we can then know that it's k times the factors times together. And often we'll just have to try and work out k. Let's look at an example. Find the equation of the cubic shown in the diagram below. So here is our cubic, there's our roots. So immediately, we know that the equation of this is y equals some number that's called k times, well there's going to be three factors because there's three roots, x minus minus 6, so x add 6, x minus minus 3, so x add 3, x minus 1. And the problem we've got here is we don't know what k is, but luckily the question helps us because it tells us one more point. The other point, it, notice, is minus 36 on the y-axis. So to be very clear, this point here is the point 0, minus 36. So we can substitute that into our equation, and we'll be left with k just dropping out. Minus 36 equals k times 0 plus 6, 0 plus 3, 0 minus 1, minus 36, equals k times 6 times 3 is 18 times minus 1 is minus 18. So k must equal minus 36 over minus 18, which is 2. Our final answer is y equals 2. x add 6, x add 3, x minus 1. And we're done. Example 2, find the equation of this cubic shown in the diagram. Again, this is taken from the HSN notes. Two roots, but notice it's a cubic and it's a repeated root. So, the equation must be y equals k x plus 2 x minus 3 but it must be a repeated root, because I need three roots. So x minus three again. If the turning point is a root, it's a repeated root. And for a cubic, you should always have three distinct factors, but two of them could be the same. So now we can substitute, because we're given this point here. That point is zero, nine. Nine equals k times zero plus two. 0 minus 3, 0 minus 3, so 9 equals 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 k. Double minus makes a positive, so k in this case is a half, so our final solution y equals a half of x add 2, x minus 3, and I might as well write that squared because it's a repeated bracket, so x minus 3 squared. It says the diagram shows the curve of equation y equals f of x, where f of x is k, x, x add a, x add b. Looks a little bit different from the one we've just done, but it's exact, exactly the same. What it's telling you here is, we've got a cubic, and we've got three roots, x plus nothing, a and b, or minus a and minus b. So let's have a look at these roots. We'll just do it the same way. So y equals k. So x adds you, which is x. Two brackets. x minus minus 1, so x add 1. And the other one, x minus 2. We're almost done. We just don't know what k is. But we're given this point here. So there's my x and y value to substitute in. y is 2, so we've got 2 equals x is 1, so 1 times k, just k, 
1 plus 1, 1 minus 2. 2 equals 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 2k. So in this case, k equals minus 1. So our equation becomes y equals minus x minus 1 x add 1, x minus 2, and now to actually answer the question, it asks us the values of k, a and b, so k is minus 1 again, a is 1, the first number, but b is negative 2, the second number. This has been Claire Masson today, we've been looking at how to determine the equation of the parabola, just given its graph, and we've looked at it got the roots and then you've got factors automatically so you can then just find out what is the coefficient of those factors and work it out if you're given. Take care, stay safe, goodbye.